Good morning, Southwest. Today is Friday, March 8th. What you just saw was a back handspring rebound, round off, back tuck. Pretty cool, right? But you guys don't even know what that means. But it's okay because here at Gym Etc., you can learn all about tumbling and cheerleading. On today's show, we're going to explore gymnastics and what makes it so fun and dangerous. Plus, check out a fascinating student in our student focus. But first, let's head on over to a Today in History. Thanks for that report. Interims come out on Monday, so teachers remember to pick them up from your boxes and distribute them to your first period class. Also, 8th grade girls interested in auditioning for the Color Guard, you have practice this Tuesday from 5 to 8.30 p.m. at Lakeland High School. Gymnastics and cheerleading are among one of the most popular sports for young children. And with 1.5 million cheerleading teams in America, it's obvious the sport is here to stay. But what about the injuries that follow these high-flying acrobats? And what are gyms like these doing to protect their young athletes? Lorelli and Angel are here to investigate. Thanks, ladies. FBA meets in the cafeteria from 4 to 4.30 this Tuesday. If you haven't joined, it's not too late. Also, the Scholastic Book Fair is coming to our school next week. The Book Fair tumbles in next Wednesday and stays open through March 21st. Be sure to swing by and check it out. Gymnastics Etc. is a training ground for many limber athletes, and it just so happens that a talented Southwest student is also an accomplished gymnast. Let's go take a closer look at this young lady and today's student focus. Thanks for that report, and thank you for joining us today at Gym Etc., a place where you can learn how to do this. I guess I got a bit more practicing to do. From Jim Etc. in Lakeland, Florida, I'm Noah Cribb, SBN News. The Humble Hamburger. It's been grilled, fried, steamed, stuffed, topped, slathered, piled high, and stacked. You may say there's an endless variety of ways to enjoy this culinary creation. The United States alone has 300 million burger restaurants. Proof that Americans don't just love hamburgers, they're obsessed with them. And when you're in a mood for a burger that's a bit more than average, then Burger 21 is here to help. Aimed at diners who look for quality food in a fun atmosphere, Burger 21 opened its doors in 2012 to serve all the hungry shoppers at Lakeside Village. Burger 21 is home to a variety of sauces guaranteed to tempt your taste buds. Okay, I think I'm going to try the toasted marshmallow. Hey look, there's even a cool way to clean up afterwards. Burger 21 provides all burger lovers a taste their taste buds can't deny. I'm Noah Cribb, SBN News. Okay, I think I'm going to go have another one. All right, Southwest, I, I have a confession to make. I like pork butts, and I, I can't lie. So when I get a chance to dine on some fine swine, oh, baby. In the beginning, the Lakeland Pick Festival had three goals. Raise money for local charities. Create a relaxing event for all walks of life. Pig out on some world-class barbecue. With over 180 barbecue teams, live music, and food fit for a king, Pig Fest won't disappoint. If you missed this year's extravaganza, be sure to stay tuned to the website at www.pigfest.com for upcoming dates. Well, I'm going to go pig out. Noah Cribb, SBN News. Good morning, Southwest. I'm Noah Cribb, and today is Tuesday, March 5th. On today's show, we're going to get you caught up on all of this month's announcements and show you a commercial you're just not going to want to miss. But before we get to that, let's head on over to the usual Today in History. Welcome back. Book Club meets in the Media Center from 4 to 4.30 after school. You guys will be discussing The Hobbit. I better get caught up. As we all know, Miss Matthew's first period class is in the lead and will be provided a free lunch by Olive Garden. Thank you to everybody who participated this year. Now let's go check out today's commercial. This Thursday, National Junior Honor Society, your meeting has been canceled in C3. 
and tomorrow, thankfully, is an early release day, so students enjoy that extra hour at home. And I know my breakfast is starting to wear off, so let's go take a look at today's lunch menu. Sounds yummy to me. Students, have a great day today. Noah Cribb, SBN News. <laughs> Pretty convincing, huh? I'm wearing just one of the many costumes entered in this Downtown Lakeland costume contest. Tons of people gather here at this annual event to bring the scariest look of the year. See, I'm not the only one out here with a thirst for blood. Other monstrous contestants gather here to bring home the victim. I mean, the victory. From zombie costumes to zombie hunters, people gather to participate in this costume contest. I had 20 bones going for the lady zombie, or maybe there's just not enough blood in my head. Anyways, be sure to come next year to get up close and personal with these mythological creatures. I'm No Crib, dying off, I mean, signing off, SBN News.